for watching. Uh, today's video is really going to be about why you should not lose yourself in your relationship. And I honestly see so many women especially, I don't know if there are any men who struggle with this, but personally I have seen so many women who get so consumed in their relationship that they forget about themselves, you know, and we'll get into that. But before we do, I'm just asking that you can kindly subscribe to my channel and that way you'll be able to get notifications whenever I post a new video and um, yeah, so that you don't miss out on anything that comes uh, up on my channel. Now, into today's video, um, I really wanted to talk about this because you see, I'm very passionate about women. If you if you if you follow me and if you're like new to this page, you know that I'm super passionate about women, right? And lately, I've just been feeling like there's too many of us ladies that get so frustrated and bitter because we feel like the men that we love, the men that we give our energies to, the relationships that we invest in. Um, they come to an end and then we feel like we wasted our time. And I feel like that's not right because you shouldn't even be putting that much responsibility on someone to fulfill you and to make you happy. Your happiness is supposed to come from you. You are responsible for your own happiness. To put that on the person that you're in a relationship with is actually quite responsible, irresponsible. And, um, and basically you shouldn't, you know, you end up seeing like, the typical situation is you meet somebody you're so passionately in love you know and you, you before you met them you were a, per, a certain person with certain interests certain likes and dislikes and etc but for some reason because now you are attached to this person you lose that part of yourself you lose the part of you that needs to uh, think for itself you lose the part of you that needs to be its own person needs to be your own individual with your own feelings needs with your own uh, desires, you know, with your own ambitions, with your own goals and things that you want to achieve in your personal life as an individual. It is that individuality that you bring into the relationship. So it must never be neglected. But we have a lot of people that do neglect the individual part of themselves. All right. So having said that, um, I do think that um, in order for us to avoid getting to a place where you've negated your own responsibility of making yourself happy you've now put that responsibility on the person that you're in a relationship with and also giving up your life uh, uh, your life goals in order to accommodate the person that you love or the person that you're in a relationship with or the person that you're married to because you feel that by giving up parts of yourself it makes you more compatible to the other person i feel that you're doing yourself a disservice you know if you think about it, you were compatible with that person before before um, you started changing who you were. It was that version of you that was attractive. It was that version of you that was interesting to be in a relationship with. It was that version of you uh, that had an opinion, that had goals, that was working on something, that had was running a business, that had a job, that had a career. That's the person that was attractive. That's the person that was interesting to share your life with. But for some reason, you've gotten to this place where you feel like you don't have interest, you can't even share your feelings. Today, I want to be able to discuss how you shouldn't lose yourself in a relationship. It's so important, you know. You shouldn't let a man be your whole life. I, I, I think that's... That's terrible. <laughs> I think that's terrible. Um, a man is just not a plan. It's, it's, that's not what you were created for. You were created for so much more. You have so much value. You have so much to offer this world. So you shouldn't live your life like, um, you're supposed to just serve your relationship. There is so much more to you, but you need to take active responsibility in making that happen. So what we're going to talk about is, um, how not to lose yourself in your relationship. I'm going to share with you a few things. So the first thing is have your own hobbies, you know, have your own hobbies and ambitions. And this is twofold. The first is have your own hobbies and ambitions. The second thing is, you know, um, always don't give, don't give the other person the responsibility to push you to achieve your ambitions. Okay. Or, to, to encourage you to have your hobbies. It's not fair and it's not right for you to put it on them to make it like, 
if they're comfortable with you having a hobby, let's say one of your hobbies is going to um, going for drinks with girls or I don't know, um, playing golf or playing netball. I don't know, whatever your hobby is, you know, um, then maybe you you won't go to, to, to a game. You won't play football. You won't play netball. You won't um, go out with your, with your girls on a girls night out, you know. Maybe that was one of the things that you love to do before you met them. But because you're with this person, now you can only go if they're okay with it or if they encourage you to do it. It's irresponsible. That was a big part of who you are. You can't now let that responsibility go and put it on somebody else to say, if they're okay with it, then I'll go. I think that you need to be so deliberate about your yourself, about taking care of yourself, that it's a need that you communicate to the other person in the event that it causes any friction in the relationship. You know, because again, you care about this person. You don't want them, you don't want that to bring problems. But at the same time, you need to be who you are. If a relationship doesn't allow you to be who you are, then, you know, and as long as that who you are is healthy and has value and is adding value to the relationship, then that's not a relationship that you should entertain. You know, so first thing is keep your hobbies. Whatever hobbies you had before you got with this person, keep them, keep doing them, you know, have your own life and keep doing your own things, you know, your ambitions. If you wanted to get a master's degree, if you wanted to get a PhD, if you wanted to, um, uh, start a business, start a blog, create a YouTube channel. It doesn't matter what it is, you know, just, you need to keep going on those things. The, the idea about being in a relationship, which brings me to the next point is communicate your needs communicate your feelings you know you shouldn't mask your feelings you shouldn't mask how you feel in order to make the other person comfortable in order to make the other person feel better you know like i'll give you an example when i was engaged i remember i didn't like the initial ring that my husband bought me but i remember talking to myself and telling myself that if i'm going to live with this person for the rest of my life i need to check if i can really be honest with him and he would be okay with it and our relationship will not be affected i told him that i didn't like the ring that he bought me we talked about it and eventually he got me a different ring but i had to test that i could have a conversation with this person about something i don't like and it's not gonna ruin the relationship you know so if you are being honest, if you're being polite, you don't have to be mean. You can tell the other person you disagree. You don't, you can tell the other person your needs. You can tell them anything, you know, as long as you're being honest about how you feel about your needs and what you want and how you want that relationship to accommodate those things. It's very, very important that you do that. Otherwise, you end up losing yourself in the mix. And all you do is you can't even have an opinion about the food you like. You can't even about have an opinion about the hair you want to do. You can't even have an opinion about um uh, the things that interest you because now your life is so consumed with this man it's about what he wants when he wants to travel where he wants to travel when he wants to visit your relatives or your relatives when he wants to spend time with friends your friends his friends like you are your own person exercise that you know don't lose that because you want to please um the person that you are with so i've written them down because i don't want to like lose my thought the other thing is um like Set boundaries, okay? When you were when you were single before you got into a relationship, you had you had standards that allowed that person to qualify to be a man in your life or a person in your life. So once you get with them, you can't now let those things go and say, Oh, because now they're here, you know. Sometimes people always think that you're just doing it for the sake of it. But if you're tr if that's truly who you are, those will continue to be boundaries even in your relationship. If a person speaks to you in a certain way and you don't like it, if it's something you used to tell them before, don't stop now because you're in a relationship with them. You have to continue, you know. The only problem is that when you have boundaries and when you have standards like that, you're going to have to um you're going to have to uh, it has to cost you something. So in the event that the person that you're with, for instance, continues to disrespect you or insult you by the way they talk to you and they don't respect your boundaries and your wishes, you as a person need to be willing to walk away from someone who doesn't respect you. You need to be able to, to, to walk away from a relationship that doesn't value you, a relationship that doesn't honor your standards and your boundaries. That is something you always have to be prepared to do. Once you are prepared to do that, anyone who comes in your life will know that I have to respect this 
Otherwise, I have to lose this person. And if they really love you, they really care for you and they want to keep you, believe me, they're not going to go anywhere. So don't let go of your standards. Keep your boundaries. Maintain those boundaries and communicate your boundaries, you know. And then uh, don't stop spending time with your family and your friends. Before you got with the person that you are with, you had a life, a full life, I hope. And you have to bring your full self to the relationship. To be your full self, you need experiences with those people, your family, your friends, your colleagues. You know, if you used to, uh, for instance, if you used to have lunch or uh dinners with your family why should you stop because you're in a relationship you may have to make compromises on timing you know but we're not kids that doesn't mean that you have to stop completely seeing your family and having lunch with them you have to find a way of allowing the relationship to adapt to those things that you used to do before with your family um whether it's just changing the days changing the time accommodating that person and also bringing them around that person and i don't think that's as important as just you maintaining that for yourself so yeah just keep your friends you know if you used to go for coffee go for coffee with your friends don't stop because now you're with this man and your life revolves around him i think it's such a bad look when a woman's life revolves around a man i think that you're disrespecting yourself and you know what most importantly you're disrespecting god who created you you know that in fact should have been my first point because when god created you he created you a whole person it's that whole person that needs to come into the relationship with the person but if you are not nourishing the whole person, you will continuously bring only pieces of yourself. And then you will leave those voids to the other person to fulfill. And you will have this unsatisfied and unhappy relationship. This is why you see that sometimes people get divorced and somebody doesn't know where to start. Because their whole life is this marriage. Their whole life is their kids. You know? So make time for yourself. Make time to love yourself and to care for yourself. Because you matter. Don't lose yourself in a relationship. If you had a business you wanted to start, start it today. Be you. The person that you were before is a person you should be 